it's definitely a growing community. Um, I started about 18 months ago um, and it was only a small niche. Um, I think on YouTube there's only about 10 channels um, doing it and there was, there's um, groups on Facebook um, that have grown massively over the last 18 months. The group I'm in, Magnet Fishing UK, um, that's got about 9,000 members um, and then there's a lot more um, YouTube channels doing it as well so the, the community is growing definitely. Come on George, get started. Oh, yeah. oh like a right idiot. Oh, 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 it's, oh, oh it's got compression. <laughs> away. You wouldn't believe that would you? No. No, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, it's <laughs> killed it. No, it's dead. I'm amazed that turned over. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look that bad condition, does it? For the for the age of it. I mean, did jet wash it? Will it work? <laughs> <laughs> the only challenge is like pulling out the heavy mopeds and motorbikes, just because of the weight of them when they've got water inside them as well. Um, that's hard to get them out, so you either need manpower or I've designed like a it's almost like an engine crane like a hydraulic crane that I can lift them out. Um, but that's heavy. That's a heavy item in itself to bring down to the canals. Apart from the tank, the frame in that don't look that bad, does it? No. <laughs> I'll be just rolling, getting on now. No. Where can we leave it? Oh, shoot. Let's, let's stand up. Jeez. This is Suzuki, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I got last week. Had the Suzuki badge on it. It's a shame that I want to take it. <laughs> Taking the scrap metal away is very important. So I, I bought a, a little trailer, so I'll take all the scrap metal with me. People who don't have that facility. We've got to rely on um, like scrap men um, to come and collect the items. That's the only challenge we face, is just removing the items after we've fished them out of the water. If you get fishing, you can find um, any weird and wonderful items um, that's got a, me a metal content. Um, the most weirdest one is um, adult sex toys. <laughs> I find quite a few, believe it or not. Um, but then obviously we've got motorbikes, safes, weapons, shopping trolleys as the usual. Um, but yeah, an anything metal, we're going to find it. Yeah. Wow. I think it's an old metal jug. Get the size of that. It's well cool. I think it's the jug. I'll tell you what that is. Heavy. I'll tell you what that is. It's a lantern. Is it? Oh, brilliant. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, God. Jesus. It's got some weight That's in it. The best, well, well, uh, that, we said that was one of the best oh. things he's found. That's incredible. Well done. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. I thought it was a jug. You can you can trace who made these. I, I forget who it is. Um, it's called a kettle lantern. So I just pulled this out. I thought it was um, like an old metal jug, but Kev, um, Magnetic G's dad, said it was uh, an old ke kettle lantern. So I'm going to have to Google an image and uh, see what it should look like. But it's heavy and it feels like cast. But that would make an awesome restoration project. It still smells of paraffin as well. <laughs> oh, it smells like it smell it from here. You can smell it, doesn't it? Genie won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> so, magnet fishing's a really easy hobby to get into. All you need is a recovery magnet, which you can get off eBay and Amazon, um, and a rope. I recommend climbing rope because it's very strong. Um, so like go outdoors, decaf on, places like that, or even Amazon. For a, a really good magnet, about £45, but you can buy cheaper ones. They'll just be a little bit smaller and that'll limit what you can find. So obviously I magnet fish um, bridges predominantly because that's where people throw items from. Either it's just kids messing about or it's criminals dumping things. Most common items are shopping trolleys and scaffolding poles. Find a, a hell of a lot of kids' bikes and scooters. Oh yes! Mate, oh, no, you found that shit, man. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Nigel, what the hell? It's a chopper. Ow. Get out. Oh, Ow. Look at that. What a find. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what a find. I think they're worth some money there. They haven't got a stamp. Did you just pull that out, Nigel? Yeah. It's no, a chopper. Back, back oh, the that is oh, men. Oh, it is. A proper rally chopper. It is. That's brilliant. Are you Fantastic. taking that with you? Oh, God, yeah. You have to, man. Oh, I like the car. 
Yeah. Chop a meal. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. Look at that. It's in good condition, you know. It's not bad. They're, they're worth fortunes. There we go. Just pulled myself out of a rally chopper. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to ride it home, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not constructed to carry passengers. <laughs> Mega. That is a really good nick as well. That's great, Nigel. Look at that. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Nigel. That's in good condition. All uh, firearms and explosives, you've got to ring the police and they'll come and either remove the item or they'll deal with it. Firearms, if you get caught with a firearm and you don't hand it in, that's an instant seven years in prison. So it's just not worth the risk of people keeping old antique firearms. Just hand it in, uh, get rid of it. Um, with stuff like knives and stuff like that, we find that many of them, um, the police are not interested. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Magnetic G's just had the best find of the day. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. The iron it is, I've actually got one of these. Have you? Yeah, I know exactly what it is. It's a cadet, it's a BSA cadet major. Yeah. It's a nice find that G. It is, isn't it? Oh my god, best find of the day, Lord, I've just pulled out. <laughs> nice. BSA air rifle. Okay. I like the edge of the wood as well, it's yeah. like it's a lovely gun, you know, you know too. Yeah. yeah. Um Right, you want to find some more of that? I think it's a cadet, it's not a cadet major, I think it's a cadet. <laughs> Should we be pirates for the day and just start capturing boats? Uh, it wasn't very creative. It was um, basically, I couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure a channel name from a YouTube channel. Um, so I just used my uh, Xbox Gamertag, which was generated with Microsoft. So I think you should put like Gareth in, or G for Gaz, and uh, it come up with Jurassic G. Two main things I enjoy about magnet fishing is the environment. It's just nice, peaceful and quiet, especially when the weather's nice. Um, but the main thing is just the surprise of not knowing what's coming out of the water. You just don't know what it's going to be. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, best find of the day, Lord, I've just pulled out.